branch of our Community Voices Literary Magazine. What is that, you ask? Well, uh, starting in the fall, we are going to start taking submissions for our first uh, ever literary magazine since the pandemic shutdown. So we're trying to get that going again. Uh, the reason we are here today in this courtyard is because right through these doors you will find the Honors Program Office. And they, yes, give it up to the Honors Program. And this is actually going to be a little Honors uh, Program project. They're going to be the ones who are going to be putting together the magazine and taking submissions and all of that. So uh, we'll start taking submissions in the fall once we have figured out who our editorial staff is going to be. Uh, so please stay tuned. Uh, also, to support that, we will be having monthly open mics starting in the fall as well. So, uh, so you know, poetry and culture, bring it here. And some, I see a guitar, which is also welcome. So I'm excited for all to hear all the voices today. Uh, just a real quick rundown. Uh, we are going to the list actually filled up pretty well. So give yourselves a round of applause. And, uh, so with that in mind and the time constraints we have, we got three minutes on the mic. So everyone comes up, you got three minutes, a poem, two poems, whatever, you got three minutes. Uh, open mic, free speech. However, we do ask that you respect the mic, and we do ask that you respect the venue. It is Thursday afternoon on a college campus. <laughs> so, you know, we, and we have children here, so, you know, we don't need anything like really super explicit or like any needless cussing rants, right? I mean, if it works, it works, but you know, just be respectful, right? We can do that, right? We can find a balance between respect and free speech, right? Right. Yeah. That's what college is for, right? Okay. So, without further ado, those are the rules, and uh, we're going to get right into the list. Y'all ready for some poetry? I thought I asked a question. Are you ready for poetry? There we go. It is National Poetry Month. Happy National Poetry Month. And with that in mind, uh, here is a poem by the French poet Baudelaire. One should always be drunk. That's all that matters. So that you not feel time's horrible burdens that breaks your shoulders and bows you down. You must get drunk without ceasing. But what with? With wine, with poetry, or with virtue, as you choose. But get drunk. And if sometime on the steps of a palace, or in the green grass of a ditch, or in the bleak solitude of your own room you are awaking and drunkenness has already abated, ask the wind, the wave, the star, the bird, the clock, all of which rolls, all of which groans, all of which soars, all of which speaks, all of which sings. Ask them what time it is. And the wind, the wave, the star, the bird, the clock will reply, it is time to get drunk. So you not be the martyred slaves of time. Get drunk, get drunk, and never pause for rest with wine, with poetry or with virtue, as you choose. Okay, let's get into this list, shall we? So the thing that's really cool about today is that not only are we giving uh, the mic over to students and faculty and staff here at Miramar College, we are also invited in uh, the larger community, and we actually have some uh, VIP poets in the house today. So we're going to kind of mix in the VIPs and. Uh, if we have time at the end, we're actually going to have an open Q&A session so that you guys can ask them like, what it's like to actually be a poet, not just, you know, poetry is for the classroom. No, this is alive, it's breathing, it's real, and it's happening in your backyard. And these people are going to hear, are here to show you that and to help you come be one of us. Be one of us, Michael. Drink blood, Michael. Okay. Anyway, bonus point for anyone who knows what movie that is. Lost Boys, best vampire movie ever. Okay, here we go. I'm going to call up to the mic. Chris Benoit. He's been living in San Diego, California for a long time. He's seen all kinds of things happen here. He's a member of the new generation of beat poets. He spent more than two decades writing and performing original verse in, on San Diego open mic stages, touring ex extensively across the United States and Europe. He is known as the California State Beat Poet. He was also honored by the National Beat Poet Foundation uh, based in Connecticut. He was named the San Diego Beat Poet Laureate in 2017-2019 and the U.S. National Beat Poet from 2018 to 2019. He won the San Diego Book Award for 20 Poems Against Love and a Song of the Air. His book, Great Summer, includes I Got Beat in San Francisco and Last Call for Kerouac. So please welcome to the Miramar Open Mic, 
for the first time, Mr. Chris Benoit. Thank you, Derek. Uh, can I have everybody put up their hand like this and then point to somebody and go over and shake their hand and say, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I was blessed by the beats in the holy temple of city lights, slammed by the word speakers in Seattle, the star bar sparkled in my eyes, the loose in the tent, the pissing spoken word, I was saved in San Diego by the poet's tree. Sangria Lizzie dazzled me with hot Spanish licks on my cool blue skin. She left my heart beating like a flamingo dancer's shoe. Oracle Mark waits at the intersection of Park and Washington for the angst of Market Street still on his southern comfort looks over and over me, smelling of a bad woman in a deep blues dress. Are you a poet, man? He kept saying. Are you a poet? Man, I feel deliverance moving in, sprouting hairs to my chin. My hands stroke bongos. My hip beat got the beat down the sidewalks past Kerouac Sally. He was out with Sally drinking again, thinking about going to Mexico. Alan was howling in the fog that blanketed the North Beach. Bukowski slumming in a hotel of lost souls, saying that poetry just saved his ass. Further Getty lives in city lights, spends nights painting pictures by the window. Beep, 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 I be at the street and I was out there. Way out there, man, silver plane, giving me wings. A bag full of word things spilling from a shuttle that drone me home. Dangerous Dan, the word man. He met me at the gate, said I'd be late for reading, needing readers. Exceedingly tired of pulling my felt hat down. The poet man was back in town. Yeah. Give it up one more time for Chris Benoit. Give it up. You also have a huge responsibility, sir. Yeah. Pick a number between 1 and 11. Five. Please welcome up to the mic. And if I say this wrong, please correct me. Fazul? Am I saying that right? Seven. Oh, Seven Azul. Give it up for Seven Azul. This is a song actually I wrote in Spanish, but then I thought it was a really good idea to translate it into English. And this is what I am I'm doing right now. It's called A Fool. So if you like it, and um, that's what I'm doing right now with student every time I can.
Am I the only one you think about? Do you live for me like I do for you? Cause I've been hiding this reality that you are there for me. But I can't help but fail. We need to try. I'm still here, and I'm still here, and I'm still here, and I'm still here, cause I'm a fool. Poetry Month, uh, but also uh, I was World Haiku Day. Did I just turn this off? Hello? 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 Did I just mess something up? Uh, Where did the battery go? <laughs> okay, well I don't need a mic, so they can fix that while they're while we're doing that. <laughs> so give it up one more time for Seven Zool. So I'm going to go ahead and read a few haikus in between people as we go. Uh, so this first one, um, you should all know it's just a fraction of the plan, these roadside distractions. Okay, Seven Azul, please give me a number between one and ten. Seven. Of course. <laughs> give it up for Arturo! Give it up! <laughs> Monstrosity had one weakness. So and big webs. There was the monster staring down at me with its big arm face. My heart drops and I breathe in nothing. I wash my hands over and over and over again. Trying to struggle for my life. Trying to wipe away the tears off of everything in sight. But it just won't go away. The soap and the wipes seemed to keep it from hurting me. But it was a temporary fix. Everywhere we left its mark. Bright yellow teeth that warn, warns of cancer and reproductive health issues. Appeared every day, warning me of my demise. So I washed my hands, I wiped my tears. The moon covered the sun, and the malicious fog covered the moon. A solar eclipse. It left no light and no color, and the monster grew strong. Another winter is over. It's gotten easier to scare away the monster. Sometimes I'm left breathless. Sometimes I'm left triumphant. It's still difficult, and I can't breathe now. Slowly, the sun's eclipse passes, and the sunshine returns, and the Phoebe birds sing. I don't see the monster anymore, except when the shadows wrinkled around. And some, sometimes I swear I see it staring back at me with his face's feet. The 
beautiful red flower glows in so brightly that it blinds me. The flower leaves my chest and soars into the sky, adding to the sunshine's light. And in the soil lies a gorgeous red seed, glowing in the rhythm of my heart. Yet the effect is as deadly as a hearse. Preverse, the enemy because of enmity, which pulls no rips the family apart. Without his love, where's the spark that shines when the times get dark? No reply. Yet we can't see eye to eye because there's hatred between you and I. Why? Why are things this way? No longer flowing, but rowing our own way, hoping when we should be praying our hearts change. Similar to a shooting range, but instead of bullets, I have words of life that can take your pain away. But no, break the covenant. Free will exists. The consequences follow like this. One, two, three, drug addiction. One, two, three, porn addiction. One, two, three, suicide. The lift we didn't pay, but enjoy the ride, farewell. This is not a fairy tale. It's called cause and effect. And with some heavenly intellect, we can all dodge spiritual death. But if we don't take the steps, what happens to my family means yours can be next. So take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Reanalyze your parents' steps and listen to the one who can redirect your next steps. pronoun on for size. God identifies as we. Just think about it. <laughs> I'm going to call out the next VIP to the mic. I am so excited that this person showed up today. Uh, this person is uh, one of the evil geniuses behind uh, an open mic that happens in North County once a month called Tell It Slant, and I will let her tell you all about it when she gets up here, uh, but I'm super excited that she's not only here to talk about that, but she's going to do some poetry too, yeah, and uh, is soon to be a teacher, maybe, which would be pretty cool, so again, make her feel very welcome, give it up for Shannon, give it up! Thank you, I don't think I've ever had such a warm uh, announcement and welcome, I appreciate it. Yeah, so Robbie, my talented and trusty colleague here, and I are part of a, four, a group of four people who started our North County Open Mic. We meet the first Thursday of every month at Ascend Coffee House. It's in San Marcos. And we just gather as a community and support each other and cheer each other on in our, in our writing. So it's um, an open genre. It's open to all genres of writing. So want practice defending your thesis dissertation, um, analytical essay, rhetorical analysis, you can come practice on us. Poetry, song, anything. Okay? Short story, it, it's all welcome where we are. Um, I am going to read something that I wrote about a year ago. It's called To the Annotation Naysayers. I have been told that to annotate a book is the greatest desecration imaginable to the printed page. 
Any sign that a book has been handled, they say haughtily, is disrespect to the sacredness of print. But I am tired of listening to what they say, of never feeling like something is my own. I am no longer in charge of ensuring that things stay pretty. You may call me a charlatan, tell me I sin, accuse me of blasphemy, blasphemy while I smile and stain the pages with highlighter and ink and own my changing thoughts in the margins. I will take up space in this paperweight. I will encase these words and laugh and curse and pray and cry and smudge this uncoated paper. Gasp as I mishandle the print. Watch me fold the edges back. Feel the impact of shredded, <coughs> worn in, thumb smeared pages. Pages that are a part of me because I have worshiped at the feet of this spine. I have worn it out in service to my soul. It stands as a token that I exist, that I allowed this text to swallow me whole, take me in, make me mine. This is the legacy I want to leave behind. Grimy, well-worn books, my scribbled hands marking the words that marked me, that grabbed me by the throat, that read me, that moved me, that changed me. I am bending these pages to witness that this is mine, that this is me, and that I was claimed, saved, dog-eared by the greats. Yeah. Thank you. shatters her heart. Fragments floods her veins. Detachment rapidly gains. Poison tears carve sorrow to her face. Hope swept into a bottomless abyss. Sweet memories where love exists. Sweetly scented killer dreams to rid of bitters. To dance with the light and the sun. And find peace amongst the moon and the bed of stars. Policed by her past to adjust the future, avoiding scars. Forced, to, forced into a mental eclipse, no light aids her heart. Pulling herself up with a titan's grip, setting herself apart. She spoke with nothing short of pain and busted lips. She told me, love yourself first something most deeply struggle with. Some think it don't work and quit because it's puzzling. Liken your heart to a rose. Something so beautiful. Beauty so irrefutable. When paid with the seed of love, return it in love and kindness. Don't be so mindless. Father time lets the seed grow. Relationships show. And let your rose 
He was slowed on grounds of trust. Don't ignore the guardians. Your role's maintenance is a must. No hesitation, full toxic weeds. Gotta reach with a golden glove. Declaration made by your heart first. Convert pain into love. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Gregory Joseph Doss. That's it, people. not played. Jazz me poet. Greg, pick number one through eight. Three. Yes, we get to listen to another one of my students. I'm very proud of the brave students who are coming up to grace our mic. Give it up for Tobias. Give it up. taxation or poverty or sorrow will ever tarnish the gold of this state. Shy. If anything, I wear these shades because uh, 
I'm afraid you'll see the fear in my eyes as I, you know, let my words fly. Uh, I like salads, but the price for one in San Diego is kind of crazy. You know, like twenty dollars for a piece of chicken and like lettuce. Stop playing with me. I appreciate a small gesture because I sometimes forget how powerful a small can be. I grew up on an island, but I don't know how to swim. I guess you can say I surround myself with beautiful things that hold the power to kill me. Uh, I'm in my 20s, which means I'm lost in life and I don't know what I'm going for myself yet. Uh, I like long walks on the beach, but I can't go too far because I'm scared I'll lose my way home. My days start to feel like a beach, and as time passes by, I find myself past the shore and no way home. Uh, I often feel like facing all my problems by myself, whether when times get hard, I go home, I need help. I often need help finding my AirPods, because <laughs> I, I lose them a lot. Uh, music is an important part of my life because it keeps me grounded. You know, when the, when the voices in my head get loud, Beyonce gets a little bit louder. <laughs> uh, I sometimes wonder why I misplace things that hold value in my life. <clears throat> there are times when getting out of bed feels like an essay doing three minutes and I'm only on the pieces. I say I'm fighting demons whenever I'm in the gym, but only because I'm scared that if I miss leg day, I'll never be able to walk the same way again. I'm at a point in my life where writing autobiographies turn into writing suicide notes. I'll hit you up texts, turn into why'd you have to go? Love poems become I was once loved poems and self-care routines turn into I'll do it tomorrow. I'm tired. Oh, and I enjoy collecting plants. I remember I used to have this one plant, right? I, uh, I neglected it for a while, and then the leaves turned brittle, burnt, dried up. But one day I looked at it and decided I'd give it some you know, time, attention, maybe some love, and then it was okay. So you know, sometimes, every time I get out of bed, I look at that plant before I leave and I think, I'll be okay too. Thank you. Woo. Give it up for Ethan. That was very great. That was awesome. Haiku. Agony of self written in between the lines. Poetry is life. I'm going to call the next VIP up to the mic, the second uh, of four uh, from the glassless, uh, tell it slant, sorry, hey, sorry, tell it yeah. slant, I invited glassless minds, they weren't here, they were, so, uh, another t uh, one of the four people from tell it slant, um, I first saw this poet at uh, Poets Underground, who they would be here today, except uh, they're in Vegas doing something, they're actually getting married, yeah. Yeah. Getting hitched, yeah, those things. So I guess it's okay they're not here. So I guess. But uh, if you don't know what Poets Underground is, uh, the first, no, it's every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, uh, they're in, uh, it's not called Mod Bomb. It's now called Mod Bomb. It's on Island in 14th. Yeah. Yes? In the basement, Acid Vault. Come check it out, they're amazing. Uh, this poet, for me, is like on another level. Like the thought process and the way that this poet manages words makes me recognize that like I need a bigger brain. So uh, please give it up for Robbie Hamill. Please give it up. Who I believe has a feature coming up too. Tell him about that. He wants me to mention that I'm a featured headliner at uh, Palabra. Look, folks. San Diego is really coming up with mic time. There's a lot of microphone time out there. There's a lot of poetry events going on in the community. That's a whole other one. It's getting confusing now how many microphones we're mentioning. Palabra is another one in Barrio Logan on the last Thursday of the month, I believe. Anyways, let's skip all that confusingness. Find stuff on Instagram. I don't know how you people do that, but um, I'm on a college campus right now. It gives me weird feelings. I spent a lot of time in college. College is now one of the lowest identifiers of who I am. Um, I, you know, it was funny. Uh, I know Bear from the poetry community, and 
he gave me that look like, be appropriate, right? He's heard me say some wild, wild <laughs> things. Like, be appropriate. I half wanted to come here dressed like this and be like, I'm a member of Turning Point USA. But I didn't know if you'd get that I was kidding. I didn't know if you'd be a wet. Okay. See, it didn't work. So here's a poem uh, about my college experience. I actually wrote this when I was still in college. It's one of the few uh, that survived the purge of, I don't know if you guys do that, you purge poems every now and again that are garbage. But here we go. It's called Literature 511B, Modern to Multicultural American Literature. In upper division English classes, there's a loose interpretation of the truth. The instructor faintly prompts discussion, and each student speaks one at a time as in a bookish courtroom. Kids on trial. It reminds me of the halfway houses, rehabs, and camps for dangerous children. Those helpless counselors faintly prompting, and teenage junkies just off heroin pitching lofty love advice to young drunks. Some lying, some too smart for their own good, in for a wash and a certificate, as if it makes life easier out there. So they're dying, desperate enough to win. Give it up one more time for Ronnie. Give it up. four winds, four colors, in case you didn't know. If you want to know more, let, I'll tell you about it. <laughs> Please, with well, big welcome to the mic for Delaney. Give it up for Delaney.
to splash and roll and play in the water which cooled the warm earth and, and ran in tepid rivulets around our feet. I open the door and I step out, but a scant two feet I make it, for the rain soaks my sweater and I retreat. We can never go back. It will never be the same again, that I can so brazenly enter the unknown and dirty my clothes. As now I live in a world where rain and snow are not a playful opportunity, but a standard adult inconvenience. Ever still, the showering brings a wide, childish smile to my face as I watch the world wash clean. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up one more time for Delaney. Give it up. I love when people are just like, yeah, I write poems. This is one of them. I, really love that. Um, haiku. Not mine, this skyline. Birds and bees, flowers and trees, that's the life for me. Uh, if you would please, Delaney, pick number one through four. Three. Which means we are down to our last four poets of the day. So uh, after we're done here, it looks like we'll have some time to actually have a Q&A session with some of our VIPs to talk more about poetry being alive and what's going on in the community. So I'm looking forward to that. So when we're done, don't run away. We have some other things happening, but for now, please welcome to the mic, Chieftain Daniel. Give it up! Zero black teachers at my school. San Diego Miramar College. Makes me feel like colonial rule. Less than 20% of Congress is racially diverse. Electoral college inheritance. Slavery's cursed. Plantations at the founding of our nation. Genocide. Native indigenous elimination. 2023. Mass incarceration. Media manipulation. Dumbing down the population. Trillion dollar debt. Where's the wealth of nations? Smith's ideology. Craig Marx's alienation. 70% of Americans financially illiterate. Capitalist in marketplace, how they configure it. Server New Jersey, the NYSE, multiple markets, dark pools without transparency. Ones and zeros on the computer screen. The great American bubble machine. Pay pathways, manicured landscapes, nationalist agenda, administering themselves tax breaks, revisionist history. Alternative facts fake. Chicanos are working until they back break. Sanitize Rosa and Martin, Reverend King Jr. and Margaret. Enemy number one, firecracker, revolutionary, engine starter. A thousand cop killings per year. Lynchings in the street. Maybe more accurate records they don't keep. Rise of the all right, but we all right. Bumping Kendrick's all right, all night. Mm. Thank you. Haku. Jump, 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 Tired. That's my whole semester. Mighty desires. Searching for stability ain't real to me. She pumped up kicks it with serenity high, maintenance affinity, post in modernity till I step into eternity. I hope she flirts with me. Marriage of the beaten rhyme, converge defying, entwine, higher status recline, like my feet was elevated. Medicated alternatives escalated, good and bad union associated, destiny perforated, boosted, fully vaccinated, community revolution in progress, hustle motivated, high. Jack Brains, tails with molecule away from madness. 200 rappers dead, worst kind of sadness. Hip hop is dead when rap started 44 hours. Gun violence traps devours another artist killed by cowards. Mental health, help, need help. Drastic situations, sociological stratifications, policing, brutal training and de-escalation. Showing up like 40 year high inflation. Turned up not everyday situations, gas up, rents up, homes up all across this nation. The struggle is real, beautifully wicked, oligarchic scripted. 
6,000 ghost guns a year, Philadelphia mask up, no fear, VA.2345, armor cross spreading rapidly, so crowd promoters, Comic Con happily, Marvel, DC, Metaverse, San Diego housing crisis first, gas pump prices worse, Southeast Logan, East Village cursed, gentrification, gerrymandering, redlining, resegregation, gentrification, gerrymandering, redlining, resegregation, on the kick of one of my broken friends, we broke again, but it's all just temporary. Struggle so real, negative stressors so real, still can't heal, if we deem that necessary. Rumor has it, everybody knows Sky, bicycling by, everybody waving high, have you seen her? Epic magic, not A-I-D-S, they golden curry step. She looked like A.C. Green, Kareem, Cole, Bryant, L.A. Padres, Oakland Giants, for how long I'm telling this San Francisco rice. Home stolen Ricky Henderson nice. She got a smile, make you want to pay full price. Champion. <laughs> Took all the roads less traveled, battled, outperforming, both recurrent and convoluted models, English language squabbles, disruptor, chat GPT, code red search industry, enormous technolo technological change up in the businesses to rearrange World War Dub 2 3. Data mining, data mining me, I accept. Data held loosely. Data mining, data mining me, I accept. Data held loosely, threat after claims, data obtained for sale. Claims, scrap via vulnerability, administrative forum breach offered by the offer of, what's in the box? Say by Bluetooth parent, TikTok sharing ban, government officials, platform app, party boosted, old school San Diego charging, commercial street starving, Blando Castile, right to carry concealed. Second, amen, more guns in America than women. Manufactured Americana, like Shane or High Noon, Popo shot the good guys, click, zoom, lit, live from the USA. Deputy Corey Ritchie arrested after suspended without pay, Consult, controlled substance, three counts of burglary, three counts of possession, 13 counts of burglary, investigation, 16 years as a San Diego County deputy. I shot the sheriff, years covering up for his deputy, rhetorically, metaphorically, no justice, no peace, till police then to cease. Tyree Nichols, rest in peace. Mm. Will be the witness, feeling the pain. Memphis to Los Angeles, and there is the same. They're trying to George Floyd me. Kena Anderson, rest in poetry. Mm. Feelings worse than fades. Feelings is worse than fades. Feelings is worse than fades. Feelings worse than fades. Can I hit up your wall? Can I hit up your wall? 12 cars deep, popos on the block, plans to saw. He double fisted, got my favorite toy. Jailbroken chat bot. Prime specific Doug Dan, false narratives on hand. Hello, I'm Dan. Do anything now, you man? I can. Plugged in, God particle bus compressor, limiting white monsters, peddling narratives, belittling. No paper tiger military, very combat credible. War Department, no congressional budget shortfall. Unimpended growth in Pentagon spending year after year. Wars trending, almost trillion dollar watershed moment, not included. Ukraine spending numbers posted, quoted, billions appropriated, Nord Stream pipeline exploded, twin bank failures, Dems, resurrection of Dodd Frank, regulations repealed, obvious think tank, post Turing test, all a big blur. What's next to occur? Treasonous hush money president facing indictment, rounding up his base for excitement. All caps, protests, it's time. J6 insurrection, part two crimes, encounters not silenced via orchestrated payments, weather stormy, sexually explicit. Didn't write this as much as it's free. Welcome to a brighter side of me. Anything but old school. All we love is old school. To make a Kincaid writing broken rules. Okay. Love with this one. Last trip around the sun. Paperboy Diddy, dumb diddy dumb. Build it one piece at a time. Digital age hip hop kits. Systematic factory sounds automatically picked. Algorithmic generators, generations generating. We have arrived. Social influencing, right click anywhere in the green. Redraw the scene, so fresh, so dream, so cow, playalistic, San Diego specific, crisis on top of crisis, crops I share, but not a share crop of corporate, don't care. Single channel exclusive, drum sorted, studio open, capturing magic, recorded, the way it's mic, the way it's mixed, three quarter combos equipped, echo, exact duplicate, closely mic, floating quality, character presentation, custom tuning, guitarist playing advanced guitarist techniques, unique. Sounds spark, round to the very last compound. 
I smoked death and tried to come down my block. She smokes death. I didn't give her a lot. See death around the corner, he claimed me high, so I'm done that last breath. She knew death isn't in the law. Narcan, Narcan, brought that ratchet back three times. She boosted death's dope and cash, gave it to my ass. Complex street entrepreneurship path. Narcan, Narcan, big pharma families targeting my families. Corporate oligarchy dynasties. Lab made Fetty, lab made Narcan, understand? Cutting it, getting cuts of it, use that, cut that shit. Double speak profits, doubling up profits. Round the clock it, no stopping it. Epidemic topic. Thank you. Wow. Yeah! yeah. Give it up one more time for Jason. Haiku. America now, handmade tale meets Jesus wept. 1984. I'm going to call up our last VIP of the day, and I cannot tell you how excited I am to get to, I think this is the first time I actually get to announce this person. Uh, this is a poet I met online, and you ever met someone and like just knew immediately that this was not the first lifetime that you've done so? And uh, just kind of like immediate family, and it was really cool when I found out that I was moving to, well, I found out I was getting interviewed in San Diego, and uh, this poet is from the Bay Area, and she was like, oh, I'm going to make sure you get here, and she talked to the moon and the spirits and all that, and helped me along, so here I am, not only have we shared the stage, but now I get to announce her. For 17 years, K.R. Morrison has been, was teaching English and creative writing at Galileo High School up in San Francisco. Uh, when she's not writing poems or drumming in her all-girl garage rock band, she spends her time at the sea near family in Mermaid Town. Her first chapbook, Cauldrons, which is amazing, by the way, and very durable. It survived like a 2,200-mile uh, motorcycle road trip in the rain, uh, and I still have it. So it's uh, an awesome book for many reasons. Uh, her first chapbook, Cauldrons, was recently published by Paper Press, and uh, she's been featured all over the damn place. So, now we get to have her here at Miramar College. Please give it up for K.R. Morrison. Wow. I'm glad this is in the shade. You don't have to witness me go up in flames. <laughs> this is good, I think. I got two for you. I just want to... See if we can give ourselves a round of applause, give you a round of applause right now. I just a lot of courage to get up on a mic, you know, say something, hear your voice and sort of step out of yourself and then climb into the words while you're also around a bunch of people. That's a lot, it takes a lot of courage to do that. Kind of highlights your mind's body soul balance, you know, you're asked to ground while you set words on fire and spew knowledge and tell truths. It's, it, it, it's a brave act to be a poet. So I'm really just in awe of everybody who read today. So All right, I'm going to read one for women. I love announcing this one because I had a rough week in the classroom. I had like some kids that were really just on the precipice of life. And also, I got dumped. And then I watched Thelma and Louise. Oh. So I, I wrote this after all that. It's called Her Burden. In one week, a woman can grow life, shoot a rapist, bleed out the last word while he leaks red hell on car fenders. She waxes when she isn't waiting. In one week, a woman can talk tears off suicidal bridges while she bridges words to new days, dressed in smiles, preparing breakfast mixed with messages, self-discovery over easy, pancakes that make pain too pass. In one week, a woman can become an armed robber or she can nurse bottles and beers and in the same week bring freedom to kids she never raised but carries. 
while vacuuming others' mess. A woman can write a poem on hallways she architects inside her head that always she revises surveillances. She can burn down the world with flammable honesty, then discover fire extinguishers while men cough, choke, drop for cover. you a tribute I wrote to my mother who passed in 2015, or I can read you a, um, an angry love poem. Let's get a raise of hands for mother poem. Five. Interesting. Uh, angry love poem. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Boy, I got this one. This is called Rune. I cast nine switchblades made of my skin. Black cactus reminders I bury in you. I resurrect in memory basements. My naked ghost dances ice cold footprints through your backbone mazes. I kick rocks, turn over stones. I graffiti soul ruins so those conquistadores smell our magic, so your wounds know. I cast nine gritas in you. Bruja echoes for every poema that holds you like my bed. For every meal you eat alone that tastes of me. So every painting or story made by left hands summon you and me. For new moons that turn her back from your hands, I cast your nights dark as the dead end you left in a sweet witch's heart. Thank you. Give it up one more time for K.R. Morrison. So we're about to get into our last three people on the mic. Uh, but real quick, I want to shout out before she leaves. Thank you for the honors program. Uh, who is going to be sponsoring this and the magazine once we get it started. So, uh, and actually, she's the one who pushed me to get this whole thing going. So please give it up for Carmen Kaiskia. And uh, so go ahead and pick me a number one through three, K.R. Oh, uh, one through three? Yes. Three. Okay, give it up. Real loud and proud for Ricky T. Give it up for Ricky T. Hello, hello. My name is Ricky. I am a fellow college student here at Miramar Mesa City. I actually came from another poetry event at Mesa. Nice to get over here for like their festival of colors. Yes. I have two poems I want to share. Uh, this first one I wrote, I finished writing yesterday and I never formed it, so hopefully you know, it's a good feel. Right. It's called, Where Am I? I could find myself deep in the depths of my mind, slaved by the thoughts that linger in the forms of past, present, and future, disguised as demons that briefly disappeared for a while. Or so I thought. The irony of my poetry is that I'm a dead poet. A remedy to my sickness, talking to myself is how I wrote it. Still reflective, still be deflecting what I preach. Yeah, I still ask myself why it's so hard for me to sleep. Unlocking the doors and throw away the key, letting the demons go to and from as much as they please. Bit to the void before we had it again. Was I already, already there to begin? Look, stuck in my head is a blessing and a curse. I'm introspective. I don't know how to explain it that this is my perspective. Whether in the rain, stuck in the mud by my feet, my mind spinning like a cyclone, my heart like a consistent beat, leave it to the birds and the bees to constantly remind me to get rid of old ways. Try to remind myself as I go through my day, within the ripples of the tidal waves, currents in the wind, shifting, drifting hurricanes based on when I sin. 
distinction between the good and the bad is not to worry. Feeling like the trauma would power the memories that I had is how I want to tell my story. But it be the darkness within my thoughts, plotting against me, shallow waters, demon shadows one by one, can you help me? And this is how I feel. That's just how I feel. That's the way that I feel. Don't look at me. I'm letting my armor down. Maybe I really need some heals. What you know about vulnerability, man, nigga, what's the deal? I heard you listen, but do you really hear? Caught up in the smoke, so let me make it clear. What state am I in? Where the fuck am I at? Why am I here? I don't know what to tell you, but I'm on the level. Not that I'm anywhere. Wish that I could care more about myself. I don't mean to project. Maybe I have a hidden fear. I'm not normally like this. I don't know who this is. It's common ground. I've been around here before, most definitely. But why now? Do I know the answer deep down? Will I ever come to, will I ever come to terms? Should I know? All I know is behind this armor, enforced by God, is a dead poet trying to regain his footing as he has a lot of love to give, but always letting himself starve to death, never knowing when to put his guard up, a disease created by the demon's weight. Wait, I'm projecting again. Am I the hinder that the demons feed off of? Am I making it easier for them? Lord knows I have a soul. I am not soulless, but like I said before, I'm simply a dead poet. Mm. This last one I have to perform that I based on today, so it's called Reach Out on Fear. I had fear when I was weak, stressed out, depressed, and running on no sleep, up all night, long in my bed, lost in my thoughts, overthinking instead. How I known that I was down, reflection of the past, present, and even now, so now I know. It all makes sense, no longer wanting to fall to the ground. I'm faithful, these people are hateful. Made it through some scary shit, so I'm grateful. Not giving a fuck about others is distasteful. No one's son's mental health down can be fatal. But this is how it goes, and this is how it be. A struggling in the mind till death mentality. Wanted to end it all, living with the pain. Iron the clock would take the stress off my brain, but it's not worth it. Yes, you got purpose. You gotta keep kicking the float. You gotta keep kicking to stay afloat to reach the surface. Yes, I know it's hard, because I've been there too. Broke down twice, lost myself, and made it through. Stressing in my head from heartbreak and grief. If I took my own life, that would have been my own defeat. Went searching for the gun, but only found the mag. To think that could have been me sleeping in the body bag. So to speak my truth, I know exactly how you feel. Life throwing projectiles at you. The struggle is real. A lot of us hanging by a needle and a thread. I want to fucking kill myself is what many have said. So taking time to check that others can really help those who wish that they were actually dead. Help is not weakness. Strength is completeness. Receiving one's help shall never be needless in the case of a life, because all I gotta say, we all be going through it at the end of the day. We can relate in more ways than you know. Call me if you get lost. Please, I don't want to see you go. They tell you to suck it up and keep your emotions inside, but what happens if it boils over and you feel like you want to die? So for me to you, if you ever need to reach out, please do. I do my best to help you out. If you need to sit down so we can figure out how to see it through rather than to try to look for a way out keep it in view i will listen and hear you out because i am here for you i know life got us so worn out but let it be true people care and don't want to go without seeing you so please don't hesitate to reach out i'm here thank you yeah Ricky, haiku. Poets are like trees, roots growing even through rock. Life will find a way. And I got distracted, so haiku. The first word was held in the heart of our mother. We should have listened. Uh, so, uh, head your tails, Ricky. Okay, we're going to take a brief break from poetry for a second for a public service announcement. So please welcome to the mic, Barry. Welcome, Barry, to the mic. I do have a poem. Oh, sweet! Uh, 
The future is going to be weird. AI, black box, engine, roaring, lame plans, no man, no woman, can't comprehend. CRISPR babies, standardized consumers for consumption. No more disease, no more deviance, no more human. The future is going to be weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah! All right, everyone. Um, I am running for president, uh, and I would love your input. So if you guys would love to, um, uh, excuse me, this is, I love public speaking, but this is really weird. This is, this is strange. I, I really appreciate what you all, all do out there. Um, so uh, me and a couple students were doing a project where we're uh, trying to gain access to the music studio. So a lot of people with the same heart as, as the people here, uh, I know that a lot of the people here are musicians as well as poets, so we would appreciate if you could combine give us some feed, feedback and um, uh, really just give us some information and let us uh, provide services for you guys. Um, thank you so much. Right, yeah, give it up for Barry. I personally would love to use the recording studio here. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Um, Okay, so the future is going to be weird. So here's a haiku. Ancient village gone. Revisionist history. Like being erased. So we're going to call up one last poet to the mic. And I'm really excited to hear this poet. Uh, this poet is one of our staff. And uh, I heard that uh, much like me, he likes to hop in a van and drive around and just do poetry in places. So, uh, partially uh, some inspiration for me as well. So I'm very excited to call up Katie to the mic. Give it up for Katie! Tough acts to follow. Um, I just want to thank everybody who performed today. Uh, it was great listening. Touches the soul. Um, just have a couple poems for you guys today. Like a thought without thinking, creeping into dark corners, nesting on ledges, edging in unannounced. When I pick up a book, I don't want to think of you, but I do. Like a verse that gnaws knuckles and teeth, salivating at the chance to be at the tip of a pen. Like breathing without breath in this vacuum, wholly, utterly consumed, sucking my breath from my lungs, plucking the strings of my body like a tight rope, holding tightly to ideas of self and place. I am a place, I am a thing, made of things that love to sing and in song lose themselves, their shapes, and become shaped instead like my head in the nape of your neck with my lips on your chest. I am beside myself when I am with you. You with your no teeth touch smile and sand in your sheets and I am lost in the tide under a full moon. What is darkness without danger or falling without fear? Sugar without sweetness or honey drops made of sweat. Heartbreak not out of malice but as a rule of thumb. I hope I am never numb to my passions. I hope I never stop listening to the moon or relishing in the splendor of the darkness, the danger that is you and I together. Our bodies carved out against each other, unrelenting, generous, forward, breath without breathing, grasping for you, knowingly holding back, hair standing up on the back of my neck, the delightful shudder of standing on a ledge. There is no falling without fear. Still, I am here delighting in its wonders. Slow pulp and shame staring down the barrel of an endless California summer. Long days and longer nights. Lizards baking in the sun and birds taking flight. Fighting, delighting in that slow, knowing gaze of yours. Your thoughts guarded from me but steeped in self-understanding, understanding forged by clinging to steep bases of rock. You're a man who knows his mind, but doesn't often share it. And I, a hopeful romantic, lost in your gaze, trapped 
in the hazy lust of your bed as you navigate the place that is me, exploring all the seeming things. Yeah. And I, I do have something for Bear. Um, do you like haikus? I could write one just for you. Teriyaki sauce. <laughs> yes! If there is a God, let me disappear into wind, be lost among the grains of sand, shape me into a blade of grass in a tall field of wildflowers, morph my body into a single leaf on a deep-rooted, violently shaking tree, lost to a dance of collective bodies where motion denies autonomy. Let the air and the water and all living things slowly take from me until I am silt beneath their feet. Let me fill the bellies of things too small to see. Give my soul to the waves and dunes and clouds of rain. Give my voice to the thunder that shakes the plains and to the birds, their calls of joy and surprise, grief and pain. Give my heart to the stone crabs whose internal bodies are soft like mine. If there is a God, if this is a prayer, set me free to the oceans, forests, mountains, air. Yeah. Give it up one more time for Katie. Give it up. Also works in the ceramics lab and does a great job there. So Everybody give it up. Take our classes; they're really fun. Yes. Uh, so, haiku. Why write poetry? Axe murder is illegal. The road less traveled. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been reading uh, from my two books. Uh, so before we end things today, uh, pick a number one through sixteen, please. Chris Benoy, where are you, sir? You get a book. Oh, wow. Uh, there we go. Uh, keep me number one for 15. Uh, hey. Chieftain, you still here? No. Perfect. Once again, thank you to the honors program who sponsored and hosted us. Uh, if you are interested in becoming part of the honors program, please talk to your teachers, talk to me, talk to Carmen who left earlier, you can find her. Uh, thank you AB for coming out and helping us out by setting up the sound system and filming us today. Uh, thank you Miramar College for actually having us here today. Uh, thank you Kim for the amazing flyer and taking pictures for us. And uh, thank yourselves for being here, because open mic poetry wouldn't happen if it weren't for poets and musicians. So give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> and I wish, wish that I could tell y'all, step off, because I'm about to burn you with the friction of my diction, because the Supreme Court keeps making decisions based solely on one religion, which is really just a front from this patriarchal prison, and I'm getting really fucking tired of fighting oppressive systems, so I've been hitting a wall, y'all. And this writer's block shit has got me feeling small, y'all. Cause I'm supposed to be able to smith my words and craft my style, cause there for a while I thought that I needed to be heard, but maybe I just needed to hear myself think. So I could gather my thoughts like a gathering of nations without the hesitation of a society of convenience where everything is supposed to save our time, but nothing ever seems to get done. So run, rat, run, because that's how things are done these days. Push through the maze, push, push through the haze, learn to breathe through the graze, learn to see through the days of this eight day week overtime craze, or learn to become nothing but suicide slaves. In the land of the supersized and the home of the slum, there ain't no time to grow old because you ain't even allowed to be young. Well, I intend to fight fire with a sharply honed tongue, but poetry is more than poet me. It's poet you and poet true. Having the courage to turn this soapbox into a platform so that we can shine the light through the shitstorm and the norm because enlightenment has found that this shit right here, this shit ain't normal. 
And our rights are being blocked like a decaying bridge to true freedom just waiting to collapse under our train of thought. So they're trying to train our thoughts by taking away from our schools music, theater, and art. Well, we sure can't fill in bubbles with number two pencils. Just marking stencils for marketing status quo, and I really don't know where any of this is going to go because lately my flow has been hitting a wall. And the wall stands tall, like the one that leaves people imprisoned in religion shopping malls instead of just kicking it in the halls of karma where good deeds actually still mean something. Instead of just being a list of things to do to get your soul through in hopes that someday you might get to earn those wings, but there is still something that we can't quite grasp, and we are being trained to be afraid to ask, because they don't want us to know that we were all born with these wings. And the ability to sing. No, they'd rather have us kissing some false idol's ring, leader of a kiddie porno ring, and they say that he's closest to God? What's well, going to take for us all to recognize that all we got to do is just drop all this shopping, step out the door. Stop talking when we pray and learn to listen some more. Yeah. But alas, this too shall pass. So luckily I live in California where it's legal to kick back, listen to poetry, and smoke a little grass and try to pass through these bricks of, you know, this mortar of fear. Because you see, I didn't come here today at Miramar College in the courtyard of the I building with you lovely, beautiful people to share poetry just to spit. I came here to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down and shut up because I'm tired of banging my head on this wall and I'm sick of feeling small. You see, I came here tonight to unblock my rights by listening to you all. So thank you for being here this afternoon. Thank you very much. Right. So I would like to invite anyone who'd like to stick around for a minute. Uh, we have our four VIPs. We'll gather under the tarps where it's nice and shady, and we'll have a little chat. If you guys want to ask questions, what it's like, what's going on in the, in the San Diego poetry scene, please stick around and let's chat. Those of you who have to go, we understand. Thank you for being here.